Roth individual retirement accounts or IRAs are a valuable tool for military spouses and service members to save for retirement. They're probably even more valuable to military spouses who often struggle with unemployment or opportunities to use employer-sponsored plans, which can cause mill spouses' retirement savings to be put off until later but often people aren't sure how to start a Roth IRA. Where do you go? What do you need? And how much does it cost are just some of the questions that come up. Thank you for watching. I'm Lacey Langford, a financial coach, veteran, and mill spouse. Basically, military and money are my jams. Support for this video comes from Self. Whether you need to establish or rebuild credit from scratch, Self can help you build credit and savings to achieve your dreams. You can learn more at self.inc. Before I get into how to start a Roth IRA, I first want to explain what an IRA is and how they work. So first up, an IRA is a tax advantaged account that allows you to save for retirement when you don't have access to an employer sponsored plan like the thrift savings plan, AKA the TSP or a 401k. This is why they're a great retirement savings options for military spouses because it's not dependent on having an employer. With a Roth IRA, you can invest in index funds, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds to save for your retirement. The tax advantage is an incentive to get you to save for your retirement years. To be clear, a Roth IRA isn't the investment. It's what you put into your IRA that is the investment. Think of a Roth like a bucket that gives you a tax advantage. You have to buy things to invest your money in like an index fund, for example, that you can keep in the bucket. So how does a Roth IRA work? A Roth IRA is pre-tax, which means that the money you put into your Roth has already been taxed. You pay the taxes up front, and then your money grows until you're 59 and a half. When you take the money out, you don't pay taxes on it because you paid them before the money went into your account. Your Roth IRA is long-term savings. You aren't able to withdraw the earnings until you're 59 and a half. However, you can withdraw your contributions at any time because you paid the taxes up front. It's the earnings or the profits you earn from your investments that have more rules. Depending on your age and how long you've had your account, you could end up paying taxes and 10% penalty if you withdraw your earnings early. You don't have to pay taxes or penalties if you are both 59 and a half or older and it's been at least five years since you first began contributing to your IRA. That means if you don't open your Roth until you're 55, you must wait until you're 60 until you can withdraw your earnings without taxes. The IRS starts counting on January 1st of the year you began contributing money to your Roth IRA. The amount you can contribute is determined by your modified adjusted gross income. For those filing single or head of household, the phase out for contributions is $125,000 to $140,000. This means if you earn more than $140,000 a year, you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. And if you earn between $125,000 to $140,000, the amount you can contribute will be less than that $6,000 max. The phase out is $198,000 to $208,000 for married filing jointly. If you have a modified adjusted gross income of more than $208,000, you can not contribute to a Roth IRA for married filing jointly. So how do you start a Roth IRA? You can open an IRA at most financial institutions or banks online or in person. To start a Roth IRA, you first want to research and pick the place you would like to open the account. You can look at your bank or, or other financial institutions you may already be using. Look at what they offer. Are they giving good educational resources and tools? Compare each company or bank what they have to offer and pick the one that works best for you. Once you do that, you open an account and fund it by transferring or depositing money into the account. Remember the max you can contribute for 2021 is $6,000 or $7,000 if you are over the age of 50. After that, you select the investments you would like to buy within the account, remember that bucket. This is probably the step that most people struggle with the most. 
what you can invest in. The education and resources available where you set up your account will definitely come in handy here. You'll want to consider your risk tolerance, the expense ratios for what you're trying to invest in, how long you have until you're gonna to need to withdraw that money. There's many things that you're gonna to wanna to consider when you are choosing your investments. You can talk to a free financial counselor on most military installations. They can't give you investment advice, but they can help you understand how it all works or you can hire a fee-only financial planner to help you make those decisions. Other factors to consider. Before you start investing in a Roth, there are some factors you want to consider and plan for. First, do you have any debt? If you have debt with high interest rates, it might be better to pay that off first. For example, if you have $20,000 in credit card debt at 21% and you're going to be earning around 8% on your investment, it's a better deal for you to go ahead and pay off your debt first. Another factor to consider is if you are in the blended retirement system and aren't contributing 5% to your thrift savings account to get that full match that the Department of Defense gives, you may want to wait to contribute to your Roth IRA so that you have more money to give to your TSP to get that full match and that free money. The same thing goes if you're a military spouse and receiving matching contributions for a 401k from your employer, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're getting that free money first. Another thing to consider is to make sure that you have money set aside for emergencies. Investing for your retirement is important, but you don't want it to be to the point that it's having a negative financial impact on you right now. It's essential to have an emergency fund, know your budget and how much you can save for your retirement and still meet your current financial obligations. You can use tools like a credit builder account with self to help you build your credit as well as build up your savings. Active duty service members also have access to free financial counselors that can help you with budgeting and understanding Roth individual retirement accounts. A Roth IRA is a fantastic way for service members, veterans, and military spouses to save for retirement. Understanding how they work and the rules will help you make decisions that are right for your needs and to start your Roth IRA off the right way. I wanna say thank you to Self for the work they do to help others build credit and savings. To learn more about Self and their credit builder accounts, visit self.inc. I'm Lacey Langford and I appreciate you watching.